is suing the Trump administration in order to protect the privacy of one of its users. Now, apparently what happened was after Trump got elected, members of the government, people working for the federal government created Twitter accounts under aliases, of course, in order to openly criticize Donald Trump. Now, it's not really openly criticizing because they're not revealing what their identity is, but they're trying to make a point that they are resisting some of the policies that Donald Trump is rolling out. Twitter filed a lawsuit Thursday against the US government to block a request to provide personal information about a user who goes by alt USCIS. So this account specifically focuses on Trump's immigration policies and how ridiculous they are. And the Trump administration, I'm guessing Trump specifically, hates the criticism. So they're trying to get the personal information of these Twitter users probably to retaliate. Um, so let me give you more uh, details on that. So an agent with the US Customs and Border Protection faxed a summons to Twitter last month requesting the user's account login, phone number, mailing address, and IP address. Wow. So wow. again, shortly after Trump's inauguration, alternative or rogue Twitter accounts began popping up for the National Park Service, Environmental Protection Agency, NASA, and more. The accounts claim to represent the views of government staffers who oppose Trump's policies. And Trump Again, Trump hates it. Yeah, you don't even know that they're government staffers. So, yeah. um, mm -hmm. look, I, I know one uh, group that is definitely going to be opposed to Trump on this, and that's the alt right. Mm -hmm. Because the right wing guys online, if there's one thing they care about, it's freedom of speech. That's, so, yeah, right. you know, when it's Nemo or their other beloved uh, icons, exactly. they say, hey, freedom of speech, freedom of speech, he's allowed to say anything he wants, don't you dare try to do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now their special snowflake president is <laughs> so hurt that he's gonna violate people's freedom of speech. He's gonna go to Twitter of all places yeah. to out someone who's criticizing him. I thought you guys thought that criticism was the totally fair game. It's like the greatest thing in the world to criticize people. Mm -hmm. But when it's your dear leader, I'm I'm sure that you're not gonna be hypocritical, right? You're gonna call Trump what he is, a snowflake, and you're gonna tell him to stop getting triggered and respect freedom of speech. Stop being a cuck. Yeah. yeah. It is really ironic that you know certain people have built a career off of pretending to be advocates for freedom of speech, when in reality, <laughs> um, you know, they're like the first people to get super, super offended if you ever say anything defending moderate Muslims. No. Mm -hmm. They're the same people who can't, well, they can't handle any type of criticism whatsoever. Like their entire existence is about bitching about people criticizing them, and then they'll turn around and be like, I'm an advocate for free speech. Exactly. No, 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 you're not an advocate for free speech, you're pretending to be, but that's pretty much it. Ironically, can I just yeah. say, that's such a great point, Anna, but I hadn't thought of it that way. Ironically, they're hiding behind freedom of speech so that their feelings don't get hurt. Ah, uh, right? They're mm -hmm. like, oh, no, 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 I'm allowed to say whatever you want. And by the way, I know people <laughs> like this in real life too. Mm -hmm. So they're like, well, I'm just honest, man. And they'll say terribly insulting things to you. And the minute you say anything back, they're like, oh, how dare you? And they'll get offended and yeah. they'll do meditation should, and stuff. Right? You should be arrested for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so they're just, you don't believe in freedom of speech, you just hide behind it because you're a little special little snowflake. So if you actually believed in it, you'd be like, I can't believe how wrong Trump is on this. Okay. That's wild because yeah. that the, conservatives do care about free speech. And me, you know, I'm a classic liberal, which means I'm conservative, but a little bit libertarian <laughs> and probably something else. Oh my God. I don't okay. know who you might be referring to. No idea. Okay, so by the way, um, I just wanted to make one other point about something that we discussed on the show yesterday. And when I was reading about this story, I felt like the two pieces kind of went together. So look, we're very critical of some of the policies in Russia. And very recently, uh, officials in Russia decided to ban an image of Vladimir Putin where it's altered to make it look like he's wearing makeup, lipstick, and all that. And it's like this, um, you know, message about homophobia and how people should fight about a fight against it. And so officials in Russia are like, this is extremist. And so we're gonna ban it, right? This is very similar because Trump, like Vladimir Putin, can't handle being insulted. So they're gonna retaliate against specific people who criticize them. That's crazy. This is supposed to be a country where we value freedom of speech, even if it's speech that offends us. People say things that offend me all the time. And guess what? I'm not gonna go after them and say, the government should shut you down. No, that's wrong. I'll criticize you back. That's not violating your freedom of speech. But we shouldn't have government officials going after people who say things that they don't like. Podcast the Young Turks anytime you want. TYTnetwork.com slash join. I think it's weird. No, it's not weird. 
In fact, you'll think, you know, I'm like a smart person. Do it now. TYTnetwork.com slash join.